We're here today in memory of the flood 30 years ago and we're going to break ground and build a monument from river rock and slate and cinder blocks in memory of this so future generations will know what had happened to us and what is left of the town. Lord, we remember today those that lost their life throughout the state. We remember those that lost everything they had but never gave up. We remember those first responders and the neighbors that chipped in and did the rescues and waited water to get people out of their homes. What I remember about the flood, I was so busy. After this happened, I, I had to meet with the governor and the people that came to help us. They brought water, they brought food and clothing. So many had lost their homes and they had nothing, no house or anything left, but I'm so thankful we didn't lose anyone. Of course, then the rebuilding started. We had to clean up the houses that were condemned and the ones that were destroyed and not did not float away. And all this had to be taken care of. And I think the thing that really made me aware of all this is when they called and told me we had to get all the refrigerators cleaned and get the things out so that we wouldn't have rats and things coming into town among the destruction that we already had. Uh, there were people who lost everything but the clothes on their back. Uh, they lost their collective memories. They lost their photographs of their loved ones, their children when they were small, their grandparents, their great-grandparents. Well, I live, I live on a hill, so I wasn't, my house wasn't in danger with the flood, but my, uh, <clears throat> my daughter and uh, her husband and baby had to uh, come to my house because they lived down along the river. Uh, I spent a lot of my time during uh, following the flood at the Southern Baptist Church because uh, that was the only public building in the, in the community that didn't have water in it. And so we served meals, and some people slept there, and uh, it was. And we also had like a food pantry. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour i first believed my name is betty bell and i lived out on route 50 during the flood um, oh, my son-in-law came and got me out <laughs> because my car uh, drowned. So when I got up the next morning, came down to see what what the situation was. They told me my house was cooked, totally gone. Uh, yeah, low blow. So I just. You know, what do you do? You cry. So a friend of mine offered me her house to live in temporarily. She was taking care of her mother-in-law and living with her mother-in-law. So uh, I took advantage of that and lived in her house. It's traumatic. I don't think, I don't think you ever get over something like this. It just haunts you every time you see a picture of a flood on television.